everyone, welcome and thank you for joining me for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we are cracking open a box of Commander Legends. Um, I know once again I'm a little bit late to the party on this. Um, I'm lacking time, that's about it. Uh, I actually picked up all my boxes of Commander Legends uh, the day they released. So uh, it should let you know how long I've been kind of sitting on these waiting for a chance to do a video. So anyway, let's go ahead and flip the camera over and we'll... Uh, open up our box and see what kind of goodies we can't get. Alright, go ahead and throw that to the side. Having issues here. There we go. Let's so get a nice little pamphlet about Commander. Oh, they give you a draft archetypes. Interesting. I kind of like it. Alright. Kind of sad that we're not going to be drafting this stuff. Um, although I've heard that the matches get extremely grindy. So, I mean, that's a thing. But I don't necessarily mind grindy matches. It can be fun. All right. Let's go ahead and start cracking into these. Um, I've kind of familiarized myself a little bit on the prices. But um, I still only know probably the big money ones. So... All right, how do we have this here? Do we have... Okay, then let's set up normal. All right, so we'll go ahead and, and skip through all the uncommons. And we'll check out the uncommons. Fathom Fleet Sword Jack, Scholar of Ages. Uh, ooh, Kumbaji Wishes. Uh, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Someone correct me. And then we got a uh, Necrotic Hex, followed by... A Breachless Brazen Plunderer and an An Anara Wolved Familiar. And then we got a Foil Exquisite Huntmaster. Man, that's some good stuff right there. All right. So, out of Commander Legends, what have you opened up that you've liked or you've been excited about? I know Jeweled Lotus is the one everyone has been talking about from the beginning. Um, I'm sorry to those of you that pre ordered at the what was it, 100 and 130, 140 dollar price tag, I think, or no, I think 120, 120 I think is what the pre-order price was right before the set dropped, so, there we got First Response, we got Frenzied, Settle Brute, we got a Monstrous Onslaught, and then we got an Ember Wild Captain, followed by a Glacian Power Stone Engineer, and then, oh, we did get another rare, a Beeble, Beeble, Belby? Belby. Corrupted Overseer. All right. Oh, and then we get a foil, one of the etched uh, Tuya Bear Claw. Well, that's going to go in a separate separate pile. That's just not a regular foil. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the etched. Um, I, I kind of liked it when there was just, you had your rare, or you had your regular printing, and then you had foil. And then if you made, you know, the occasional little something extra um like alternate arts or whatever but it's i don't know it seems like they're throwing so many specialties in so many different variants that it kind of takes away from um the uniqueness i guess of pulling something good uh angelic armaments we got volcanic dragon love that i pray i get one of these in foil i've already got from the other sets that this has been released in i've got probably 20 or 30 i just love dragons in foil they always look so good we got a Nadir's Nightblade, and then we got, oh, Sphinx of the Second Sun. I hear that's kind of good. All right, we'll go ahead and slide this over so we got a spot for Mythics. We then got a Radiant uh, Sarah Archangel, Captain Vargas, Vargas Wrath, and then a Foil Opal Palace, and then a, man, yeah, okay, we got the Prismatic Piper. Now, why was that behind the Foil? I don't know, but it was. Oh, well. All right. Not too shabby. I, I don't know what that Opal Palace is at, but... Man, does my camera even begin to capture that? No, it does not. One of these days I'll upgrade, great folks, but that is absolutely beautiful in foil. All right. Skip, 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 skip. Um, I'm really hitting to, hoping to hit several soul rings between the boxes because uh, I've got a lot of EDH decks that are lacking the soul rings just because I don't have enough copies. We had an 
uh, Orzov Advocist. We got a Vow of Wilderness. We got a Stinger Fling Spider. And then we got a Bio Waste Blob. Followed by a Jury Master of the Revu. And oh, we got a Yurlock score of Scorch Thrash. That's kind of fun. And then we got a Dehund Dund Operative. Okay. Oh, and Monarch. That's actually like worded correctly. All right. Is there a foil in every pack, or am I just going crazy here? I don't know. I might be going crazy. So if you did do the pre-release for this, because I know some stores held uh, events. Uh, so if you did the pre-release, what did you play? Like, what did you pull and what were you able to... What kind of deck did you put together? Uh, we had a Daring Saboteur. We had a Lore Seeker Stone and a Strength of the Pack, followed by uh, Shuk Shakashima's Will. We got Dargo the Shipwrecked. We got... Siani, Eye of the Storm, and then a foil, uh, Liz Alana Bowmaster. So there, there's a foil in every pack. All right, I'm getting all excited for nothing here. Either that or that I'm just having a sick, sick run on packs. All right. Commander Cube. So one of the former patrons of uh, the channel here, and a, a, a friend of mine, Arthur, actually has a Commander Cube that is just bonkers and i miss playing that i really do we got a kenji's or kanji's lieutenant we got a mindless automaton uh guildless commons and then we got a reshape the earth for our second mythic of the box we got a brinolin the moon kraken that sounds fun we got another rare we got gen arcane arcanum weaver and then we got we got it. We got a foil volcanic dragon. I know it's probably not worth anything, but that's going right in the binder. I I'm happy. I'm happy. Good stuff. <clears throat> All right, let's get going through this next pack here. We got we got burning and yeah, back in center burning anger. We got a dreamstone hedron. We got a feast of succession, and then we got immaculate magistrate. Uh, followed by Lathiel the Bount Bountless Dawn. Hey, we got three rares in this pack. We got a Jared Carthalian True Air and a Foil Ninth Bridge Patrol. All right. That was kind of nice getting three rares in one pack. I like how that's an option. All right, we got Vow of Flight. We've got Return to Dust. Not bad. Arcane Signet. This is actually another one I need, so I'm going to put this up here. Followed by Court of the Cunning. We then got a Falthus Shadowcast Familiar. Shadowcat, not cast. And then we got another mythic. We got a Jessica Thrice Reborn with a Foil Kite Sail Skirmisher. I, uh, I unfortunately did not get a hold of any pre-release kits, so in the future I'm going to be looking to purchase some of those because I would love to do uh, a pre-release type event with this. We got a Vow of Torment, we got a Scaled Behemoth, we got a Confiscate, and then we got Armored Sky Hunter, followed by Alharu Solemn Ritualist, and Arumi the Dead Tide. Ooh, that looks fun. Followed by a Foil Rummaging Goblin. Da, da, da. Peek at our rare, or our foil, sorry folks. Alright, we got a Coastline Marauders. We got a Demonic Lore, Brass Herald, and then, oh, Phyrexian Triniform, another mythic for the box. Followed by Tormod, the Desecrator. Uh... Gil, Gilorana, Collar of Wirewood, and then a Foil Runaway together. All right. Yeah, I honestly did not know that there's a Foil in every pack. So, uh, Color Me Special. 
All right, we got a Horizon Scholar. We got a Make a Stand, Volcanic Torrent, and then we got a Command Beacon, followed by Rebecca, Architect of Ascension, and oh, we got a Crack Crack the Thumbless. That's kind of nice, and a Foil Benevolent Blessing. He seems just fun, especially if you can, you know, get him out with his his thumb. Uh, or depending on your playgroup, his other thumb. Alrighty. No, no, there we go. Alright, we got a Burnished Heart. We've got a Reclamation Sage. I actually need one of those as well. Uh, we got a Mask of Memory, followed by a Blade Griff prototype. We got a. Oh! I remember reading about this. This is. This seems like it could be fun. Uh, a Rogarth, no, Rograk, son of Rogra. There we go. We got a Kanji Sky Warden, and then a Foil Kanji's Lieutenant. They kind of go together. Sweet. Oh man. Tell you what, I have missed cracking packs and making videos. I really have. All right, we got a Humble Deflector. We got an Interpret the Signs, Guilt Leaf Winnower, and then we got an Austere Command, followed by an Ardent Intrepid Archaeologist, and Cadets Emberclaw Familiar, and a Foil Sentinel Spider. So once again, I'm not sure if the Rare to Mythic, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be your typical, simply because you have multiple chances at rares um but so far with four mythics for the box that would be considered normal uh we got intangible virtue we got hero's blade we got an ordeal of naya and then we got an El elvish dream lord followed by kesket the flesh sculptor and then a another rare call call Fenor, the last you and a foil st staunch thone guard Stone Guard. Throne Guard. Wow. Believe it or not, folks, English is my first language. All right. Oh, I put that in the wrong pile. Oh, well. All right, we got a Codex Shredder. We got a Metoric. Metoric. Meteoric Mace. Slaughter the Strong, and then we got a Sakashima's Protege. We got uh, M.O.T., Celebrant of Bounty, and then a Ghost of Ramirez de Petro. With a Foil, ooh, a Foil Horizon Stone. Don't know what that's at, but that seems like it could be good. Okay, we'll put that with the Etched, just because. All right, let me reorganize here, because I am just doing some stupid stuff here okay that looks better almost two-thirds of the way through the box I don't know how we're doing on stuff honestly I really don't but um, I know we haven't hit any of the big big money stuff so all right we got a skilled animator a victimize an armor craft judge and then we got a oh, <laughs> Nevenral's Disc. I love that. Good stuff. And then we got a Hamza, Guardian of Arshan. Oosh. Ictectic Salvage Splicer. And then a Foil Dragon Egg. And then, oh, we got another Prismatic Piper. So this must be sitting in the back. Something. I don't know. I don't know how that works. If you know, drop a comment below. And speaking of dropping a comment below, um, I'm not sure what's going to be in this next video or the video after that, but uh, we are going to be do going back to the picking a random comment to open a pack for that person. So uh, I kind of miss doing that as well. Uh, we got a Vow of Duty. We got an Ingenuity Engine, a Merchant Raiders, and an Aurora Phoenix, followed by... Felici, Reverend Medium, and another rare Livio, Oathsworn Sentinel, and a foil boarding party. It's 
So yeah, be sure to leave those comments. Um, and we might do something with sharing as well when you share videos. I'm not sure how or what, but um, I know we've lost a lot of our reach with being gone that year. Uh, we got Explosion of Riches. We got Sandstone Oracle. We got Cast Down. And then we got Kamal's Will. We got, a, oh, this is a mythic that I know. I'm pretty sure it's still up there. A Sakashima of Thousand Faces. Good stuff. Kadoma, the East Tree. And then a Foil Brass Herald. And then another of the uh, Prismatic Piper. Good stuff. I like that. I like that. Alrighty. We got a Daring Saboteur. We got a Faithless Fetters. We got a Three Visits. Nice. And then we got oh, another good one. Opposition Agent. Good stuff. We got a Halana Kessig Ranger. And another rare Lisa, Lisa Shroud of Dusk with a deranged assistant as our foil. All right, so this box is taking a, a slight turn up. Oh, I, I've always loved this card. The art, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. We get Pen and Blade. We got Patron of the Valiant. We got a Hunter's Insight. And the <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got a Mana Drain as well. Nice. Uh, we got Torgo, Goblin Weaponsmith. We got a Tuya Bear Claw. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the extra we got. Okay. And then we got a Foil uh, Armillary Sphere. Holy cats. We're doing good, folks. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do a quick cheat here, and I'm going to look on my uh, my list to see where that's at. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's still a little bit of money. All right, good stuff. Skip, skip, skip. All right, we've got a Vow of Lightning. We've got Thirst for Knowledge. Love that card. A Meteor Golem, and then our rare is Body of Knowledge, followed by an Alina Kessig Trapper, and a Slurk, all ingesting, and oh, a Foil Port Razor. Um, I don't know where this is at, but it seems like it could be good. We're going to go ahead and put that right there. Holy cats. I always like seeing Foil Mythics, even if that's not really up there on the price list. Um, that's still good in my book. All right, we got a fencing ace. We've got a revenant. We've got a thought vessel, and then we have a hey, a spectator seating. Good stuff. It's the first one of the lands we've hit. Uh, we've got a Kelleth Sunmain familiar. We got another rare and Av Avrina, the Chaos Bloom. Sure, and then oh, we got a foil prismatic piper. No idea what that's at, but man, one of these days I'll, I'll upgrade the camera so you can see that is just a gorgeous foil. Gorgeous. All right, two packs left. What can we do with those last two packs? Uh, we got a Null Caller. We got a Lightning Rig Crew. We got an Imperious Perfect No Soul Rings. And then we got a, a Rings of Rebirth, not bad. We got a Rav Master Smith, an Ezenor, Ezior, Wardwing Familiar, and then a Foil, Rebecca Archia, Architect Ascension. Architect of Ascension. There we go. Words are hard. All right. Well, tell you what, let's give a quick recap. We oh, As I throw cards everywhere. We did get uh, got Rings of Rebirth, uh, the Spectator Seating, that's good. Um, not sure about these. Opposition Agent, yes please. Uh, not sure about the rest of these. The disc is kind of cool. Um, this is actually one that I might be building around. I don't know. Um, oh, we got Clark. Can't forget Clark. 
Oh, we did get another land, but I mean, not the same. It's Command Beacon, but still. It's a land. We got Armored Sky Hunter. Da, da, da. Um, I don't... I don't know if this is anything, but um, this seems fun to build around. Uh, all right, I think that's... I, I, I could be wrong that, uh, you know, there could be much more of those that are, are higher up than I know, but we have a Foil Port Razor. That's kind of nice. A Foil Horizon Stone, which is also kind of nice, and then we got an etched Tuya Baraclaw. Baraclaw. Bearclaw. And then for Mythics, we got a Mana Drain, uh, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, Phyrexian Triniform, Jessica the Thrice Reborn, and Reshape the Earth. Oh, we got one more, and we got Sphinx of the Second Sun. I got ahead of myself here. There's still one pack. Y'all are probably watching this thinking, what are you doing, stupid? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I got all sorts of excited about all the stuff we were pulling. Alright, last pack. Supreme Will, Pride of the Perfect, Grafted, Wage War, and then we got a Court of Ire, followed by a Numa Jorga Chieftain. We had a Mira, Thorn of the Glade, and then a Foil, Angelic Gift, with another one of our Prismatic Pipers. All right, so that is the box. Um, I don't think we did too shabby here, folks. Um, yeah, I really don't think we did. But I, I think we did, we did rather well. Considering some of the box openings I've been seeing. Um, actually, I've seen more good ones than bad, but uh, some of the bad ones I've seen have been really bad. So, uh, anyways, thank you all very much for joining me here today. If you like this video, do us a huge favor. Click the like button, button, please hit subscribe, and then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for joining me. And as always, you can find us on all the social medias at ChuckwagonMTG.